All right, it's time to talk about the UnProject for History 202 U.S. History since 1877. And this is going to be due uh, on uh, Tuesday, October 17, um, and it's your chance uh, to kind of have a little bit of freedom in the course. Um, your project uh, has to do uh, with World War II, but otherwise uh, the rest is completely uh, up to you. So uh, when we think about this, um, you are really uh, open to doing anything that you can relate to World War II. That can be uh, anything as narrow as a specific battle or person extending out to uh, something like the war in the Pacific. And how you establish your scope and scale of uh, kind of what you're going to focus on um, might uh, kind of dictate uh, how the project goes for you. Um, this is a great opportunity to maybe take something uh, you've been interested in. Uh, maybe uh, you had family members that served in World War II and you want to look at where they served at and what that experience might have been like. Uh, maybe uh, you just have uh, things that you've been interested in from the atomic bomb and the Manhattan Project to the Holocaust to whatever else it might be that's something that you find interesting. Uh, maybe you're a big uh, like Call of Duty person and you want to go out and uh, look at different uh, guns in World War II. I don't know. Um, but you're uh, kind of tasked with uh, taking something related to World War II, finding eight sources, uh, four being primary, uh, three being scholarly secondary, and then one uh, completely up to you or more, um, and then making something. Uh, and this could be uh, whatever you want it to be, as long as you use those eight sources and it relates to World War II. So people have made all sorts of things in the past, uh, everything from podcasts to uh, videos to uh, somebody built a video game once or people have made board games or uh, somebody made trading cards uh, of their ancestors that served uh, in the war. Um, people have done like one act play performances if you're a big speech person. I don't know what you're into, um, but this is your chance to uh, take uh, kind of a little bit of freedom, uh, pair it with uh, something you want to learn about, uh, and make something cool. Uh, and then we're going to share it with the class uh, when we get uh, to October 17th when it comes due. Um, you can work with a partner if you want to, um, but you need to uh, reach out to me and see uh, kind of uh, if that makes sense. And then you're, I, I might give you some different uh, parameters, like you're going to need twice the sources. You both need eight. Uh, if that's what you're going to do, um, might lengthen some of the uh, requirements, whatever. Just uh, communicate with me and you're going to have a chance to do that next week when we meet one-on-one uh, -on -one again. So uh, in the same way at the beginning of the semester, we met one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to uh, get together again next week um, or the week following and sit down for a few minutes and just talk about how things are going. Uh, many of you are in really good shape uh, in the course. So you're doing a lot of good things. Some of you uh, might want to uh, kind of pick it up a little bit and do better over the second half of the course. So we're going to talk about that um, as we get together and, and maybe how we can uh, be in a position to be uh, successful over the rest of the way. Um, as we come out of the midterm exam, um, I think there's a good opportunity to reflect on what's going well, what's not going well. And this UN project is really the only unfamiliar thing we'll have the rest of the course. Um, you're pretty familiar with HTAs, hopefully by now. You've got uh, five in the books if you've been doing what I've been asking you to do. Um, we're going to keep practicing with our quizzes each week for the final exam. So if uh, it went well for you on the midterm, you should feel great about that. If you need to improve for the final exam, which will look just like our midterm uh, with different topics, that's a great opportunity every week to start uh, kind of putting your thoughts on paper and practicing those skills. And that's how we get uh, better at things and we should have a good opportunity. So as we come uh, through the rest of the course, uh, let me know what uh, questions you have. Uh, we will uh, get together and meet next week. Um, and we also talk about the UN project a little bit on Tuesday. But uh, until then, uh, have a great weekend and I will see you next week.